Okay, well, I accidentally stopped the recording, so this will be a part two. So I'm going to take the bottom off of this. If you guys remember, we're going to show you how to put the right tone in this radio. And what I'm doing is I'm setting this radio up to get into the repeater that is over in the Catskill Mountains over in New York. It's a pretty popular FM repeater over there, and when the band is open, it comes in rather strong. And if anyone remembers, I did make a video previously when the band was open on a Lincoln 2 Plus, and I showed that repeater. So we're going to set that up for this one. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we want to put in, 146.2. So if you look here on the board, you got this little board here. And this is what you change to get the right tone. So we have to take a look here and see what we have first. Okay, so if you look at this little board here where it says on, that would be H. That's what they call that, on equals H. So we have one, two, three, and five in the H position or on position, whatever you want to call it. So we come over here. 146.2 H equals on 1, 2, 3, 5. And that gives us our 146.2. We'll come back here. Things acting kind of silly. 1, 2, 3, 5. The other ones are off. And if we key our microphone, here's our, it's kind of hard to see now. radio is on it so there we go so we're going to transmit there's our five two you can hear our squelch tail we're going into a dummy load so there's no need to id but one two three four five check check one two so we still have tone squelch on you can see it on the screen and we are coming through like we should so that's all that's how you do it that's how you do 10 meter repeater with tone squelch now that's only for transmit this radio does not have the ability, the 2600 that is, to do receive squ tone, squ tone. So you only get a transmit tone. Some repeaters need a tone. That's why it has that optional board. You don't need it for receive. You'll be able to hear everything. So if that frequency has other repeaters in other parts of the country and the band is open, well, of course, you're going to hear them. So it's just the way it is. Uh, we're looking at this radio. We got some glue in here. That may be something we need to address later. It's not looking that bad yet, but definitely uh, it's that nasty glue. So probably have to get that off there eventually. I know someone will probably comment on that. So let's flip it around. We'll take another look. I think maybe this is when this radio was made right here. Okay, so just looking at the power output really quick here on this HR2600. Um, there's no like adjustments or anything on the outside. This is all exactly how the manufacturer designed it. There's nothing been altered or anything like that. So RF gain is what it's supposed to be. Clarifier is what it's supposed to be. You can actually shut it off with that button. And then SWR Cal is what it's supposed to be. I know a lot of people would probably modify this. I have a HR2510 that this was turned into RF power and then on the Lincoln of course it has its standard RF power and then you have a RF gain local DX button here so few uh, differences but this radio is all factory set up so um, let's take a look at our power output on FM so 25 watt slug we are in the middle between 5 and 10 so um, I'd have to look at the service manual. It may be able to be increased. I'm not really sure, but, uh, you could definitely, you know, turn it down and you could run like a 10 meter amplifier or something with it to get into repeaters and stuff. You could turn this thing probably way down if you wanted to and run something to get a little more power out to a distant repeater or something. So that is FM. Let's check AM. Let's shut the repeater mode function off. We'll go right here. 
this is probably where you would find your AM operators on 10 meter. I believe it's in the low 29 megahertz portion. So we'll just take a look at AM power. It's pretty much the same, which I kind of thought it would be. And then now we'll look at SSB. And I need to find a different uh, element for my peak reading meter, so just one second. Okay, so I went to the national calling frequency for upper sideband on 10 meter. Now we're going to come over here to our peak reading meter. We've got a 50 in there, so we will see. Hello, test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So about 25 watts or so. 20 to 30 watts, somewhere, you know, right in between. So, um, so that's about what it should probably be doing. I haven't put it on any of the test equipment to actually see anything else, but I think that's about right. Uh, the HR2510, if guys don't know, it was called that because it was designed to be 10 watts AM, FM, 25 watts SSB. So that's about what this would be. It's relatively the same design, same power output, everything like that. So I think it works pretty good. Uh, let's try to listen to it really quick, see if we can listen to it. Okay, so I'm just going to speak into the microphone and then we'll put our uh, camera over here. Hello, check one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, check, check, check. So it's pretty much right on the money, you know, like it should be. It's fine. So that's upper side. And just for the heck of it, we'll check lower. Do the same thing. Hello, check one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, check. That one might be a little out of adjustment, but again, this radio is uh, over 30 years old, so it may need a little bit of an alignment. But you really don't worry about lower sideband on a radio like this because you wouldn't use it anyways. Everything is upper when you're on 10 meters, so. Yeah, you could do it. You could go through and realign it just for the sake of argument that it would be better. But nobody's going to use lower sideband anyways on this radio. So it's kind of an afterthought. Really, they shouldn't even have put it on here. I think on the HR, or I'm sorry, the HTX100, I believe it doesn't even have lower sideband. I think it just has FM, CW, and upper sideband, I believe. Maybe it has AM. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not as familiar with that radio but definitely I don't think it has lower sideband so you receive incremental tuning it doesn't work unless you push the button in so it's kind of odd that they put that there I think on the 2510 you had a PA but this radio doesn't have that so they could have used this probably for something else I, I don't really know um, they could have put the repeater here and I guess maybe they could have gave you the Roger beep. I guess they tried to make this radio a little more professional since it's designed for amateur radio. You wouldn't really use a beep. But they could have just put that where it's supposed to be and put that repeater button here. I mean, this would have just been on all the time. That would have made more sense to me. But again, I didn't design it. So, And I know some guys will say, well, it doesn't do CB. Who? Why would you want it? Like I say... If you're an amateur radio operator, you'd be more than happy to talk on something like this and get out there when the band is open. And again, you could probably turn it down a little bit and run some kind of amplifier with it and do 100 watts or more easily. So, But when the band is open, really, you could probably get by with that 25, 30 watts. People would come back to you with the right antenna, right condition. So you can see there's no 11 meter nothing there i believe to do the 11 meter you'd have to change the chip in the radio either put that they call it the chip switch or maybe there's another way but again i could care less about that it's never going to happen so this is the hr 2600 73